Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having a good morning, evening, wherever you guys are from. And today I want to explain to you guys what could potentially be one of the best trading opportunities of 2021. Yes, even rivaling the parabolic madness that we are seeing in GameStop right now for all the same reasons and more. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you guys stick around for the entire length of, of the video as there will be important information discussed the entire way through. But that being said, let's go ahead and take a deep dive into silver now I'm getting straight into the meat and potatoes of this and I, again I really don't want to waste any time uh, silver is one of the most manipulated uh, commodities and precious metals that we have in the world of assets today so the easiest way for me to explain this to you is if we go and we actually look at how accessible silver is um, compared to its paper value now if we're taking a look at one of the largest silver distributors, again, one of the most mainstream ones, which is JM Bullion, they are sold out of silver bars everywhere. And we're going to take a silver, take a look at Silver Eagles in just a second as well. But I want to show you guys just how, uh, you know, extreme this is, because as we're scrolling through here, everything is out of stock. And we'll see in stock alert is open, which means that they are out of stock. And right above that, we see the message of out of stock. No matter what kind of crazy piece of silver you want, they are sold out in literally everything. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Eagles. You know, surely this one has to be better, right? Let's go ahead and back up to the top and see what we got. Now, I mean, no matter how much we keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and I don't want to beat a dead horse too much here, but silver is sold out everywhere. I mean, if you want to buy silver, Good luck. Um, first of all, there is going to be the extreme premiums that we have on the silver market right now that I talked about, you know, last March, um, you know, when since then silver has doubled the, you know, the premiums are still very high and getting it has just become even harder. Now, lo and behold, most people are now finding out about the silver short squeeze that we're having, which is one of the most notable things because in a short squeeze, when people are trying to get their shorts covered, and if they can't, then they will have to buy stock back, which is what we're seeing with things like GameStop and AMC. The difference here is that this is a commodity. Um, people will not be allowed to just buy the stock. You know, they can't print more. They can't issue more. Um, this is a commodity. And if they are forced to buy, they will be forced to buy silver, which they are unable to do at market value of $25 right now. Now, of course, there's a lot of money pouring into this. Um, I think we're going to see a great run up when the market opens uh, tomorrow on Monday. And I think silver is going to start taking off. Gold will probably follow not as extreme, however. But I think that what could happen here is when people are forced and if they are forced to buy physical silver uh it's going to start getting crazy because there is such a shortage in the world uh that we have right now at least in what's available that the price will have to rise due to supply and demand so going over to this chart i want to look at some of the stats that we have on how vastly different the paper versus physical world of silver is uh, because it is almost laughable. You know, I have, I'm, I'm smiling right now because I'm looking at how uh, crazy this market is. But let's look at a little bit of the stats on, you know, paper silver and kind of what we have over here. So a couple of statements that we have, of course, we have the global silver exchange trading versus the mine supply. And then we have the global silver notional trading versus the silver investment. Um, a couple of the you know significant quotes here that we can read through uh you know to cut out a lot of this you know wordiness and jargon we have you know thus the exchange traded at 180 times more of paper silver in 2016 than the global mine supply of 886 moz scrolling down to this next one we have you know thus the paper notional silver trading ratio of physical silver investment was a whopping 517 to 1 double that of gold which was 233 to 1 now that the 517 to 1 of the notional paper trading ratio to physical silver investment of 2016 does not take place into account by any of the huge otc markets so Needless to say, there is a gap here. And again, we can see this from the illustration and charts. There is something going on where we now have a significantly larger amount of paper silver than we have physical silver. Now, a lot of people have known this and what these ratios are saying, this doesn't necessarily mean that we have um, 517 times more paper silver than physical silver. That's not what this is saying, but we can start seeing that the gaps on physical versus paper trading and some other things of, you know, the actual of what we are mining and what we are 
have in our physical reserves and investments um, compared to our physical ratios, um, they are growing and growing and growing. And now that we are about three or four years past this article, we can only expect that this has gotten even more out of hand. Going back to the price of silver, I want to explain what this could mean because now we have a record support, uh, excuse me, a record shortage on silver. We also have one of, you know, again, a, a very, very large short squeeze. And now we have paper trading, which is coming in here with a whole lot of other factors, um, along with the side of Wall Street bets. Now, Wall Street bets has been a controversial topic that I would say most normal people are very okay with. Um, they kind of are now realizing this and saying that, you know what, uh, silver is one of the most manipulated metals and assets and commodities in the world. Let's go ahead and make sure that this has a, a very fun time, a very warm welcome into 2021. I think that's, that's going to be one of the best ways to put it over here. So that on top of everything else is the icing on the cake. And I almost made this video a couple of days ago. I'm really glad that I did it because now that that has come out, now that that kind of publicity is getting into this, this gives me all the more reassurance. I was about to load a bunch of money into silver the other day. That news came out with so much publicity. Uh, and now it's everywhere. I mean, you have Ivan on tech tweeting about it. You have all sorts of these these major big public figures that are now all about the silver rally. And uh, I'm excited to see what this has to come. So let's talk about what this could actually do to the price of silver as silver is just now sitting around twenty five dollars. So between the shortage and the short squeeze and, and again, everything else that I've talked about over here, silver could easily break $100, $200. And again, that's going to sound crazy. I know that's going to sound extreme. We've seen silver go all the way up to $50 before, and I think that we can at least double our previous all-time high from the last time that we saw this back in 2008. Again, uh, this is something that's very, very possible. The gold to silver ratio is at a historic low right now. Again, it's not at all time lows, but it is uh, it's, it's very, very small compared to what we have seen over the last you know, 10, 20, 30 years. Um, and that number has only been expanding in opposite directions, excuse me, for some time now. So again, I don't think that it would be crazy for us to see $100 uh, silver per ounce here. Again, supply and demand is going to take place here. <clears throat> We're going to have to see what happens if we start seeing a lot of these <clears throat> large hedge funds and banks be forced to buy silver to cover themselves, then they are going to drive the price to something like we have never seen it before. So that's just my two cents. Um, I'm not too much of a metal guru. Again, obviously I believe that they have value. I personally just really like opportunity. I think that those are, again, they're, they're something that have always been around and they're always going to be around. Um, I don't do too much trading on them. I do do a little bit of investing into them. But again, this is one of the opportunities where I see it. The last time I really did any kind of major swing trading for silver was back in March of 2020 when it hit those lows from the from the COVID. Um, but now this is a, another time when I'm seeing silver. I'm seeing it as a very, very undervalued asset with a whole lot of potential. And, you know, we'll see what happens on Monday. Again, my guess would be that silver goes for a nice little rip here on Monday and it would probably continue past then. So this could really be the reversal that we have seen on silver for some time now, um, ever since it bottomed out last year, just around 11 and a half dollars. So time will tell. I'm excited to see what's to come. This is a little bit longer of, uh, of a video than I normally do, but Again, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have anything to say, throw it down in the comment section down below. I love being able to interact and comment and talk with you guys down there. Uh, and if you guys want to join the link to the Discord, I will throw that in the description as well and throw it up at the end of the video. So once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video.